occurred June 28, 2010, 1900 location, Columbus, Indiana shape, cigar duration, 5 to 10 minutes characteristics, the object left a trail chrome blimp, miles in the air, travels halfway across horizon at same speed before beginning to emit a disturbing chemtrail. After stepping out of Fair Oaks Mall in Columbus, Indiana around 7 p.m. I noticed what I first thought was a blimp, only miles higher than any blimp I've ever seen before. I began to watch it as it traveled across the sky very slowly. It was low for a jet or commercial plane, but still much higher than any blimp you would normally see. I began to think maybe it was a weather balloon of some type, but eventually decided that since it was traveling on such a direct path that it must be some sort of vehicle with an engine. I was first surprised by the fact of a blimp so high in the air at first, but what really surprised me was what happened after it had traveled halfway across the sky. It was traveling at the same speed, never stopped or slowed or sped up, yet when it had traveled roughly halfway across the horizon it spat out a huge chunk of white smoke. Then about 3 to 5 seconds later it spit out another hunk of what I thought was smoke. Now there were two dashes of smoke across the sky coming from what I thought was a blimp. My second witness also witnessed these puffs of smoke. However, seconds after these two puffs were spat out, it began to emit a constant trail of this smoke-like substance, just like your typical chemtrail, or contrail, I suppose. After traveling at the same speed completely across the horizon, this blimp, which looked like a cigar covered in aluminium foil, just suddenly, out of nowhere without changing a thing in trajectory, speed, or altitude, began to emit a chemtrail. It literally looked like a giant crop-dusting blimp, miles in the air. The thought of it made us feel extremely eerie and upset for the remainder of the day. Occurred, July 16, 2010, 2200 location, Columbus, Indiana shape, disc duration, 20 seconds characteristics, there were lights on the object, the object changed color pinkish white to red white discs driving north on County Road 403 miles south of Highway 58 near Walesboro. I noticed activity NW of my location, like a star moving in the clouds. When I was 3 miles from Highway 58, I seen a super bright disc shape object, it was like a pinkish white to red like white. Then the second disc of the same detail. The first disc come out of nowhere where I happened to be looking, then the second disc a couple of seconds later. They were around 6,000 to 8,000 feet up moving fast, then they both shot away moving up very fast out of sight. It was very awesome. Occurred, October 17, 2014, 115 location, Columbus, Indiana shape, triangle duration, 15 minutes characteristics. There were lights on the object large, flat black triangle passed overhead, observed by two adults, one a flight attendant. A young woman, outside for a smoke, noted an approaching red light, southward bound. Her mother was summoned and both watched as a large, flat black triangle passed overhead. The object had a large central red light and a smaller red light near the leading vertex. Four white lights were spaced unevenly along each of the leading edges. The red lights pulsated slightly, while the white ones strobed irregularly at varying intensities. What looked like smoke was emitted from the rear. The UFO seemed to be 15,000 to 20,000 feet high, traveled linearly, and sometimes hovered. Moving on an ascending southwest track, it was lost behind trees. The main witness works as a flight attendant and is also a nursing student. 15 minutes, Muffon case 60475. Occurred, the 3rd of January 2015, 2100 location. Columbus, Indiana shape, circle duration. 3 minutes characteristics. There were lights on the object. There was an aura or haze around the object orange ball crossing sky south of Campeter Berry. South of SR 46 west of I-65. Looking west saw an orange ball of light. It skimmed the tree line headed north, then started climbing. Started going almost vertical. No sound except, what is that? Have seen these orange balls quite a few times but never with another witness. Occurred, January 31, 2020 2140 location. Columbus, Indiana shape. Triangle duration one or two minutes characteristics. There were lights on the object triangular object hovering in one spot. Dark in color I was driving home down central and I say lights above the donut shop, and at first I just assumed it was a lower flying aircraft, but then I noticed it wasn't moving. 
I thought I was crazy at first so I pulled into the parking lot real quickly and get out of my car to see if I can see it better but it disappeared. The appearance was a thinner looking triangular craft dark in color. There were lights on one side of the craft but you could still see the silhouette of the triangle. I looked around in the air to see if there were other aircraft it could have been but the closest one was too far a distance to how quick I turned in to park and look. Occurred, April 17, 2004 1226 Location. Edinburgh. Near, in shape, unknown duration. Was driving. Unusual black craft near Edinburgh it was around 1230 in the afternoon as I was heading back to Indianapolis. As I was driving north on I-65, I saw a black and shiny aircraft off the side of the freeway. It held an altitude of about 800 to 1000. At first, I thought it was to be a helicopter because the way it was shaped, but I noticed no propeller of any kind. It also amazed me as it turned sideways. As it turned, it looked two-dimensional, and then into a bright star for a split second after. I don't think the bright shine on the craft came from the sun because the light seemed to be emitting very brightly than that of a reflection. After noticing the craft fade away in the sky, I continued driving away. NUFORC note. Date is approximate. Witness elects to remain totally anonymous. Occurred, December 24, 2008, 12 o'clock location, Edinburgh. In shape, duration, 20 minutes, four lights that separated and spun around. Seeing four bright lights that followed us down the road, then stayed outside our house for another 10 minutes after we got home. The lights would all come together and then spread out spin around four or five times and then join back together in the center then spread out again and spin over and over again the whole time. Occurred, August 15, 1965, 2359 location, Lowell, in shape, fireball duration, 30 minutes characteristics. There was an aura or haze around the object at least 12 witnessed at close distance a red fiery orb in the night sky for 30 minutes that was not like anything we had ever seen. As a teenage in a farm community, we, 7 plus cars, 12 plus teenagers, drove out to a farmer's field and with a car made a circle in the cornfield. Breaking down corn stalks deep in the field to avoid detection, we were drinking and dancing, to party. We had been partying with loud rock and roll music with our car doors open, when someone yelled, look, pointing up in the sky. We looked up and there in the sky was this huge red orb. It was hard to tell how close. I thought it actually looked like a planet tilde I quickly sought out the moon. The moon was clearly visible a great distance from the object. The reason the orb looked planet-like was because it was fiery red, glowing, opaque and had something around it, like a grey cloud or through it. Fortunately or unfortunately it just hung there. It made no sound, it didn't move. We watched for maybe one half hour, then people got worried, jumped in their cars and we all drove off. NUFORC note, date and time are approximate. Corn is usually standing late in the summer, so we have assumed a date of 15AU65. Second report from same source. Occurred, August 15, 1965, 2359 location. Lowell, in shape, sphere duration, one half hour characteristics. There were lights on the object, there was an aura or haze around the object, a hovering ball of white light, that was able to travel quickly and turn instantaneously. We were teenagers parking near the Kankakea River outside of the town of Lowell. We saw a light coming down a farmer's gravel road. We were concerned because we thought it might be the police tilde we had alcohol in the car, and watched it closely. It seemed strange, one white, bright light hovering above the road. It was extremely dark, no moon that night, and it was unervingly quiet. It continued to move forward towards us. We were off the road, still 25 feet away. It was the size of a beach ball, est, and had no sound, moving slowly, est 20 miles per hour. We became curious and jumped into the car and drove out to it. As soon as we got close it moved backwards, without turning, very quickly, too quickly for any object what we were aware of. It was not a motorcycle, no sound, it was not a car no taillights, ability to turn 180 immediately, and it certainly wasn't any vehicle in production in 1965 or now that could have maneuvered like that. The driver of the car became really worried and frightened, he immediately turned the car around and took off. 
It started to follow us. He sped up 110 plus mph on the straight road and it was able to keep up with us for some time before it disappeared. NUFORC note, date and time are approximate. Corn is usually standing late in the summer, so we have assumed a date of 15AU65. Second report from same source.